Welcome to another bracket fight where we are pitting albums against albums and this is in the um, black metal camp So we're gonna be doing black metal albums versus black metal albums and seeing who is the victor of all time And it's gonna be struggling. It's gonna be hard Just the way we like it and first up is a stupid one. They're doing this on purpose. The first one is a killer one Already the pitting the classic De Mysterious versus Philosophum by Burzum 2 Landmark albums, two albums that probably the first albums people listen to when they get into black metal. I know it was for me, because Philosophum is the album that got me into black metal. And D is such a great album. Um, I I do I do have preferences, of course. It's Questy. I do like Burzum a bit more than Mayhem. Um, I, you know I'm gonna pick Philosophum for this one, but for a lot of other people, this would be really hard. Two great albums and Freezing Moon is like a classic song. But for me, vocal wise, atmosphere wise, everything wise, Philosophum just slaps. I'm sorry, it, it slaps. And look at this other one. Oh my god. We need a quick sippy before we go on. Nemesis Divinia, the like the best satirical album, or one of the best anyway. Versus Blaze in the Northern Sky. One of the best Dark Throne albums. This is really going to test some patience. I want you guys to play along at home, by the way. Because this will be fun to see what wins for everyone. And tell me what the most hard fights are. Because this one is actually quite hard. But I do have a preference. I do prefer Dark Throne. And Blaze is Blaze, so... It's easily Blaze for me. Oh, Borknagar versus Windir. Two cool, proggy kind of black metal bands... Um, very interesting, very good. Love both of these albums, but Art Nor, come on. Art Nor, A Warrior is one of the greatest songs ever made, and that album is just, it melts my eyeballs every time I listen to it. Campfire versus At the Heart of Winter. Now, I like both of these. They're both really good, and I like how they're both icy, and that's why they did it. They did it because they both look similar. But for me, there's a clear winner. At the Heart of Winter is my favourite Immortal album. Um, it's literally, it's, it's my favourite Immortal album. I do like Immortal more than Campfire. Sorry. But, yeah. Ooh. Ancient God of Evil versus Sacramentum. Is it Far Below the Sun? Is that the name of it? I've forgotten the name of it. Oh, god damn. These are two great albums, by the way. I don't know which one to actually pick. Unanimated. It's. Uh, I don't know. Please help me. Red or blue? What do you want? Red or blue? Should we do eeny meeny miny mo? Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger. <laughs> now, my favorite, the one I listen to more, is obviously going to win. It's Sacramentum. It's Sacramentum. It's the one I listen to more. Um, it, it's got to win. Slaughter Sun is a really underrated band. Really great fucking album versus Dissection Storm of the Lights Bane, which is. A very popular album, and I really want to pick Slaughter Sun, but I'm not because Storm of the Lights Bane is literally the greatest melodic black metal album of all time, aside from the Sombalane. Sorry, Slaughter Sun. I'm going for the mainstream shit. Oh, yeah. In the Woods versus um, Flu. Flurity? Flur. Flurity? Now, some of these I obviously wouldn't have heard of before. Like this one especially. I have not heard this album. So let me know down below. Is it a good album? Um, should I check it out? What does it kind of sound like? Does it sound like In The Woods? I like In The Woods a lot. So you know I'm going to pick that one because I don't know this one. But please let me know down below if the album's good or not. Ooh, Bethlehem vs. Psy. Ooh, two crazy ass fucking, fucking bands with mental vocals. Hail, horror, hail. I love both of these. I love both of these. Um, this is another hard one. It's the battle of the crazies on this one. I think I like Bethlehem's Dictus slightly more because of just how batshit insane it is. Although, both batshit insane. But Bethlehem's more batshit insane. Next, we have um, Nagelfar. Which is a cool album. That's a really creepy album. Um, quite melodic as well. Uh, versus Carpathian Forest, Black Shining Leather, is it? The debut. Um, I do prefer Nagelfar's um, album, actually, to Carpathian Forest, which is maybe blasphemy. I don't know. 
Carpathian Forest is good, but I've never been the biggest fan. I feel like this album just does a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're going into like the industrial kind of shit, the weird shit, but Covenant, Nexus Polaris. <sighs> this album, actually, I don't like that much. I don't like this album that much, but this album is a fucking underrated classic, and I been listening to it a shit ton recently covenant is amazing Ooh, ceremony of opposites by samuel versus Elvis bergtan i love ceremony of opposites it's not my favorite samuel release but it is a classic release but bergtan has my sound it has the trees in it it's got the atmospheric black it's fucking over come on sorry samuel tormento ammo domini um, I don't actually remember that album cover. I thought it was a different album cover for Anna Domini. It was like a castle thing. But, oh well. Bathory, Blood, Fire, Death. Both great fucking albums. Um, I even mentioned Tormentor in my um, Black History of Black Metal video. Love both these albums, but Blood, Fire, Death is my favourite Bathory album. Bathory's one of the greatest bands of all time. I fucking love them. Sargeist, Let the Devil In. Versus War Moon Lord. I love both of these albums, but there is a clear winner for me. Even though I do love War Moon Lord a lot, Sar Guys Let the Devil In is just one of the best albums he's done. And it's amazing. This one, you fucking bastards. <sighs> Abigor, Natch, Men, I never, never know how to say that. Versus Migwas, Exercise in Futility. This is an amazing album. The riffs, the melodies on here seep into my soul but Abigail's one is like one of the best melodic black metal albums ever made I've got to pick Abigail I'm sorry Miguel I love you I'm sorry but I gotta do it this is another hard one Hades the Dawn of the Dying Sun which I have in my top 50 black metal albums versus Eternus Beyond the Wandering Moon which is also a fucking underrated classic but I had Hades in my top 50 so you know what I'm gonna pick it's Hades Dawn of the Dying Sun it's a masterpiece. Ooh, we're going to listen to some symphonic shit now. Arcturus versus Limbonic Art. I've got... I had both of these in my recent video on symphonic black metal. I love both these albums, but there is a clear winner for me. Um, Arcturus is cool and all. Bit weird, but Moon in the Scorpius is like... Just a beautiful album. Like, I'd pick that any day over any Arcturus album. Any day. Oh, we're getting into some fucking war metal now. Revenge versus Conqueror. Um, Victor, I can't remember how, Victory Intolerance Masterly versus War Cult Supremacy. They're both not great. For me, I'm not big into the, not big into either of these bands, but I feel like Conquer is better. I know Revenge is most, um, popular, but like, I can I pick neither? I don't want to pick, I don't want to pick any. I'll pick Conquer though, just because it's not Revenge. <laughs> These are better. These are two better bands. Like, if I was going to do War Metal or... It's not even a real fuck. I fucking hate the name War Metal. But Destroy 666, Cold Steel vs. Beastial Warlust. Um, I love both of these. Destroy 666 is a fucking fantastic album. Um, Cold Steel, sorry. And Beastial Warlust one is great as well. I'm going to go with Beastial Warlust. For the pure fact that Destroy 666, my favourite ones are actually um, later on in their career believe it or not disaster versus abzu um it took me a while to get into abzu i will say it took me a while the vocals were kind of weird it was just i know it's flashy but it's a bit too flashy. i was just kind of like why do people like this band it took me a while to get into them but now i love it and this is one of the best abzu albums is it tara i can't remember the name of it i think it's tara Hellfire's Dominion's a great bloody album. If you asked me, um, if you asked me, like, a couple of months ago, I would pick Disaster. But ask me now, I actually quite like this Absu album, so it's gonna go with this one. Next up, we've got some more thrashy shit. We've got Hell... I pointed at Midnight and said Hell Ripper. Hell Ripper, Coagulating Darkness, or Mid Midnight, Satanic Royalty. I like both Hell Ripper and Midnight. Both these albums are fun, but for me, Midnight's a bit more fun. Midnight's a bit more fun. I love um, Later Midnight as well, especially. We got Leviathan versus Abyssic Hate. 
two classic DSBM albums. Now, this is hard because Abyssic Hate is fucking sick and Suicidal Emotions is one of the greatest DSBM albums of all time. But it's against Leviathan's massive conspiracy against all life, which is like one of my favorite albums of all time and I want a shirt. Sorry, Abyssic Hate. Hey, it's Paysage the Hiver. Paysage the Hiver. The Hiver versus Behex the the ne- Nexa Woo Woo. I've forgotten how to actually pronounce the name of it. Both icy cold, both raw, both primal, um, both really good, both good on a wintry night. But Paysage, it's got to be Paysage for me. Ooh, Life Lover versus Shining. Hmm, both cool DSBM bands as well. Love both of them, but Helmstead is a classic and maybe the best DSBM album ever fucking made. I see Dark Space and it's number three. That's my favourite, one of the greatest albums ever made. And in my top like 10 albums of all time, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what album you are. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. It's against Dark Space. It's against fucking Dark Space and it's one of my favourite albums. All right. Next up, we have Wayfarer, the more cowboy. Black Metal, which is a cool, unique style, versus um, Kralis, which is a quite an underrated band as well. They've got a lot of releases, a lot of good ones recently. I'm going to have to go with Kralis, although Wayfarer has a cooler like aesthetic and cooler sound. Kralis is just better. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's just better for me. Ooh, Autumn Eternal by Panopticon versus Wolves in the Throne Rooms, Two Hunters. Quite a hard one. Um, both kind of in the RABM camp, both really good bands that I love, uh, well I don't love that much, <laughs> but I do actually prefer Wolves in the Throne Room to Panopticon, I don't know why, this album's a classic though, but the sound, like the, the drift you off sound of Wolves in the Throne Room, I like a bit better, Winterfilif, English fucking black metal, seen them live, great, Divination of Antiquity, beautiful album versus Druk, Blood in Our Well. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to pick. Now, nothing against Winterfell if I love you. You're great. You're against one of my favourite bands. And Blood in the Wells is a fucking masterpiece. Look at all these Ukraine stuff. I'm probably also picking the Ukraine band, even though I'm English. Primordial versus Enslaved. A very cool, more proggy matchup again. Um, love both of these albums, to be honest. Um... But Enslaved Below the Lights is actually my favourite Enslaved album and probably one of my probably my top 20 black metal albums of all time. Yeah, probably. Hey, look, it's the weird ones with the weird fucking names you can't even pronounce. I'm not even going to try and do it. But they're both good, but this one's better. <laughs> even though they're both good. This one, I you always see it. Um, You always see it in your YouTube feed and it just pops up and you're like, what is that? That's how I found that, that album. That's how I found that album as well. They just popped up randomly. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Checked it out. Great black metal. Couldn't tell you the fucking name of it, though. I know it's weird. Ooh, we have some Midnight Odyssey. Astral something Funeral Sphere. I have it. I literally have it. Astral's, Funerals from the Astral Sphere. It fucking says it there, you dumbass. Versus some Aranzi Bazuzu, who I've seen live, and they're great. They've got a space off right now. This is a hard one. Do you want the free hour album? <laughs> you know what? Midnight Odyssey. I love Razaranzi Pazuzu. And maybe it would be different if it was, if it was Mukul Apagadaha. The Spaceman one. But it isn't. Next up we have Battle of the Newer Black Metal Bands. Wode vs Spectral Wound. And Wode's great. And the art's fucking fantastic. But Spectral Wound is just catchier, riffier, funner. Here we have Havukrunu. Another newer band versus Batushka. Another newer band. Both fantastic. Both amazing. And I always... I see this art. And I think this is the classic Batushka. This is art. And I'm like, is this the new Batushka? Is this the old Batushka? Well, what is going on? Because this, I think this one is the old one. I think this one's actually fantastic. Now we got... Oh, Philosophen versus Blaze. Fuck. You know what, although Philosophen got me into the genre, I feel like I like other Burzum albums a bit better at the moment, so blaze it is. Blaze it is. Oof, at the heart of Winter versus Artnor. Mm, my favourite Immortal versus 
probably my favourite Windu one now, actually. I just love the Windu sound more. I'm sorry, I love the Windu sound. Battle of Melodic. Far Beyond the Sun, or whatever it's called, versus Storm of Light's Bane. Dissection. It's got to be Dissection. It's the greatest melodic death. Hmm. Dictus versus In the Woods. Love both of them. Whew. I might pick In the Woods. It's a bit calmer. <laughs> oh, Nagafar versus Covenant. I'm actually going to pick Covenant for this one. Listening to it, shit ton. Bergtart versus Bloodfire Death. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? <clears throat> I gotta go with Baffery. I'm sorry, I gotta go with Baffery. Bloodfire Death's like the greatest. That like Devlin versus uh, from a Twilight Kingdom. I forgot the name of it. I like Abigail more. Try and go faster because there's shitloads to go through. Hades versus Limbonic Art. Hades. Faster, more punchy, in your face. Conqueror vs. Beastial Warlust, Beastial Warlust any day. Midnight vs. Abzu. I'd say Abzu now. I'd say Abzu now. Paysage vs. Um, blah, 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 blah. Massive Conspiracy Against All Life. Come on, Leviathan. Harmstead vs. Dark Space 3. Oh, this is a stupid one. But I like my spacey shit. It's Questy. He likes his spacey shit. Kralis vs. Wolves in the Throne Room. I'm actually going to pick Wolves in the Throne Room. I love that album. Are oh, you bastards. Two of my favourites of all time. But. Flynn No Wells is just perfect. Look at these skeletons. Skeleton off. Yeah, funerals. It's gotta be. And Spectral versus Batushka. As much as I like the old Batushka, Spectral Wound just has this energy to them. Which is great. Blaze versus Windy. It's Windy. It's fucking Windy, boys. In the Woods versus Storm. Storm. Nexus versus Bloodfire Death. Sorry, Covenant, I've taken you this far, but you're against Baffery. Abigail versus Hades. I gotta go with Abigail. I love him. See, Abzu's gonna win. For me, saying Abzu, I didn't like them that much. They're going quite far. Now, this one's killing me. I want Masters Conspiracy to go further, but it's against one of my favorite black metal albums. Come on. Oh, this one's easy. Druk. <laughs> this one's not so easy. Spectral Wounds versus Midnight Odysseys. You know what? I'm actually going to go with Midnight Odyssey for this one. It's like three hours of spacey, cosmic, atmospheric black. Oh, this one's going to get me hate. Winder. I'm sorry, Dissection. I love you, but that Winder album's beautiful. Abigail versus Baffery. Mm, Baffery. I can't not pick Baffery. Come on. Now, this Dark Space, for me, easily. Druk. Yep. This is when we get into some shit. We've got some Vikings versus some Vikings. Mm, Art not versus Bloodfire Death. This is the killer. This is the killer. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. Um... Mm. Fuck, I don't know. This one's too hard. This one is too hard for me. I'm gonna go with Arnold. Shit, I was with Arnold. What's going on? This one's killing me as well. Two of my favourite albums. Blood and Blood in Our Wells. It's gotta be. And the decider is Arnold versus Blood in Our Wells. Shit sticks. I think. I think. The winner's gonna be. Blood in our wells. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Blood in our fucking wells. Yeah. So. I'm gonna end it there. We're gonna have a two parter. Ha! Cliffhanger, motherfuckers. That's right. Two parter. Blood in our wells is the winner of the first round. And next we got. Shit, loads of other albums to get through. And then we'll crown a winner. So hopefully you had some fun and we'll see you again on another Bracket Fights.